Welcome back everybody, my name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Siege of Dragon Spear. Where we left off last time, we just finished the bridge and we were about to fight the dragon. I am dubbing over this part uh, because I initially thought this would take several attempts and I was just going to voice over the one that was successful. However, we completed it our first time so I should have just my microphone go the whole time. Uh, we're going to have Doran go up to the northwest corner of the room. Our main character will stay in the southeast and attack from there. Uh, Edwin's going to cast Breach, Baelos going to cast Magic Missile, and the most important thing is that Vicania is going to use mm. Wand of Heavens mm. in a second here, and I'll explain how that works. It just command. does massive damage to the dragon. Like, if you watch the initial bout of the combat, that first Wand of the Heaven Blast takes it to badly injured, and we almost win the fight based on that. The second blast will kill it, and then I turn my microphone back on for the post-dragon celebration. So, I'll leave you guys here. And my voice should come back in a second. So it would appear that uh, Wand of Heavens is the way of taking this fight out. So apparently there's another wyvern over here that we missed before. Take it like a champ. Take it like a champ. And we'll just quickly wipe that out. Alright. Easy enough fight. Sorry for the dub over in the beginning. I th honestly thought this was going to take more than... Uh, one attempt, to be fair. So yeah, that was interesting. Wand of Heavens, great thing. You can just go. Oh wow, cold resistance and immunity to slow. That's kind of nice. What am I using? Right, the cloak of Balderan. That is clearly better. We'll give it to Dorn. And we're gonna go ahead and throw that in there and give that to him. Alright, so now it is officially time to leave this map. I think we've done everything. And, uh, yeah. Salted. Gotta wait for our guy to get out of fear. There he is. Right, what's this then? You must gather your party before venturing forth. Oh, right, this is Salted. back into the uh, mines. I don't know if Ow, that is a loud noise when you enter I'm an area with buffs on. Oh, it's when uh, haste was falling off. I see. Got it. Okay. Well, easier fight than I anticipated. A couple blasts of a wand of heaven, and that was it. I'm on it. Hmm. It's also good for taking down Saravok, by the way. You right. Right. What's this then? Just as a heads up. I don't think he does have magic resistance, but I think if you hammer him with a wand of the heavens, he goes down pretty goes down pretty quickly. Oh, it's been a long day today, guys. I fully expected that to take several attempts. So uh, yeah, I guess that's where we are. Levens, actually, you know what? We should rest. We're on the edge of a map. We're relatively safe. You can travel straight to the coalition camp. I didn't bother resting, actually. Signs of the Crusade's recent presence can be seen on the road to Dragonspear Castle, but the Shining Lady's actual servants are rarely encountered. The few Crusaders you spy in the distance invariably retreat at the first opportunity. As the march wears on, fatigue grips your company. Tempers flare within the caravan. Your reputation as the hero of Baldur's Gate protects you from petty squabbles and angry outbursts. Or perhaps, after what happened on Borisgir Bridge, there is another reason few are willing to cross you. These thoughts are put aside when you see the banners of Waterdeep, Daggerford, and the Flaming Fist at the edge of the Coalition siege camp. Dragonspear Castle is near, and so is Kalar's Day of Reckoning. Flaming Fist, Daggerford, Waterdeep, just as heads up. Why does he still refuse me? How can he deny the righteousness of our cause? We speak of a child of Baal. And yet the Baal spawn is the hero of Baldur's Gate, and by all accounts saved the Sword Coast from ruin during the Iron Crisis. 
You cannot ask me to show mercy to this abomination. Not after what happened to my brother. For the good of the Crusade, you must. We cannot take the Balspawn's life. Forgive me, my lady. I do not know if I can do that. You can. I have faith in you, Ashatil. For us, forgiveness must prevail over revenge. I see. Go on, then. So it took us how long to travel? Oh, Finally, you're here. I was just about to say the same thing. I'm Eltamar, and you are. I'm Kirill Nederloff, Marshal of the Burnstone Cadre. I command the Flaming Fist contingent of the Dragon Spear campaign. Where is Kalar? I would see this matter finished. You and me both. For the moment, she's safe behind Dragon Spear's walls. I've been arguing for a full assault for days. The Water Davian commander, Torsen Delancey, has been holding us back and using you as an excuse. Oh. He's insisting on delaying any push into Dragon Spear until reinforcements arrive. Now that you're here, well, he'll probably think of some other excuse not to act. He has a talent for that. Go get settled in now. After you've done that, come see me and the other city commanders at the large tent south of here. So just mirrors the music like gotten way louder recently. There we go, maybe that'll help a little. Sprite, what's this at? Okay, here we got in this camp. Who are named people? We have Sergeant Wilch. Let's talk to him or her first. Looks like a him. We're few, but fierce. Okay. Well, it wasn't really all that useful. Corwin is here. Helvdar. Oh. Who goes there? Aren't you supposed to say that to people outside the barricade? Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> a little drink yesterday evening turned into a lot of drinks early this morning. I'm, uh, I'm not in the best shape right now. You look to me like somebody dealing with more than a hangover. Something wrong? Ah. Uh, but I don't want to waste your time with my sorrows. I, I know you're an important person. Tell me, what is it? It's... Ah, this is gonna sound so, so... Ah, hells. It's me lucky charm. A pebble from Mithril Hall. I lost it somewhere on the March air. Oh, I've had the most terrible luck since I realized it was gone. I lost it, cards. Spilled a full mug of ale in my beard. Probably die in battle now, the way things are going. Whoa, hold your roll. It's skill that sees you through battle, no luck. It's just so... Wait. The other thing that went wrong is I got a hole in one of me boots. My patron god is Martha Marduin. His symbol is a boot with a mace against it. Maybe if I get some fancy new boots, my luck will change back. It's a bit of a stretch, I'll go with it though. I'm telling you, this'll do it. I just need some good leather, and then maybe that quartermaster, Belagarm, will order some maid for me. Could you help me out? I heard a bear's been sighted around Dead Man's Pass, but I can't leave my post. Bring the bear's hide to Belagarm and get me some new boots! Alright, but you'll pay me well for those boots. I know you're an important person with lots of things to do, but if you manage this, you'll have a loyal friend forever. I don't want that. I will be back in two seconds, guys. Let's see where the wares are first. So, up to plus two weapons, which is kind of nice. They're not as unreasonably expensive now, which is also kind of nice. Ooh, the knight's embrace plus three. If the wearer is rendered helpless, he becomes invisible for one round. It's kind of cool, actually. What is Reconteur's regalia? Pay pockets and spellcasting is not disabled. It's good for bards, apparently. Bucklers, cloak of protection. What's a headband of focus do? Oh, it's a monk thing. Okay. Belt of the skillful blade. Well. Slashing damage plus 10% bonus. That's good for Eltamar. And plus two bonus with the offhand. For blades and swashbucklers only, but that plus 10% slider damage is pretty good. I'll check his current belt and we'll kind of check them both out. Move silently, plus 25% immunity, decrease entangle and web. That's pretty cool. 
The screaming bagpipes is a bard thing, obviously. Okay, so there are some things we may pick up there, but I also want to Soon take to a go look. Back to the grotto, I am. I miss the tunnels. In the. Oh, hang on. You look as though you might be interested in some special wares. They are quite out of the ordinary, very difficult to obtain. I said, that sounds interesting. What do you have? Sadly, I have only a few minor items in stock right now. I sell mundane items. Crusaders misplaced as mementos for our own soldiers. There are er, items that I want to get my hands on, but they're proving to be difficult. Everyone says you can do the impossible. Interested in making some quick coin? Sure, what are you looking look for? you getting into the spirit of things. This should be fun. I'm looking for five things. A ring, a battle standard, a token of faith, a map, and a holy symbol. Any particular battle standard? One of the chests in the camp reportedly holds a stack of crusade built or battle standards. I need only one. Too many will devalue their worth. How about the ring? A crusader commander named Dreon wears a signet ring stamped with Kalar's seal. He's notoriously hard to talk to, but maybe you can figure a way. Other items? Token of faith. Some new crusaders have taken to making coins into charms as a show of their faith to the Shining Lady. One of them must carry such an item around. Any map? If it were any map, I could get it myself. What I want is a map that charts the Crusade's progress along the Sword Coast, annotated by Kalar herself. It hangs somewhere in the Crusader camp. A holy symbol different from the Token of Faith? Indeed. It's a symbol of Red Knight. Looks like a knight chess piece, but with rubies for eyes. One of the Crusader's clerics have it. Okay, I'll return when you have that. Alright, so she's got some stuff that we possibly want. What's his belt? Oh, just armor class against slashing. Okay, so we're going to pick up... What are we going to grab? We're going to grab the... It's a ring of danger sense, so it's just fine traps. Boring. That one. That's all we really, really need for now. There we go. Our damage might have gone up a little bit. Go on then. Right, what's this then? Well, it should have gone up by 10%, so. Hopefully it'll serve us well. Somehow near I made it here. Allies look at me. Uh, anybody named other than the Who's Rafus? How may I be of service? How did you come to join this expedition? Paladins and mercenaries serve different masters. When all serve a righteous cause, the cause becomes one. I tolerate the less savory elements of this expedition because ultimately they too will fight for the greater good. Okay. We less savory elements appreciate your tolerance. I know little of Kalar beyond the heresies she speaks. She claims no single god or pantheon as her own, but professes to act on behalf of them all. Whatever, whatever her goals, her heresies are an abomination. She invites the wrath of the gods down upon Toril. You give me renewed faith for the task before us, Eltamar. I will ask your leave now to pray. There's Fog. And Petrescus. And General Stonehand. I'm looking for a specific merchant. Ooh, who's Dosia? You are more than welcome. I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. There are many I must tend to. Make time. You'll not like the alternative. What's your name? I am Theodicia Immartyred. But call me Dozia, everyone else does. I'm a cleric of Ilmater with the unenvi unenviable task of running this triage camp. Ilmater, you say? A deity of suffering and penance. Some call him the crying god. I took my vows as a young girl to serve him all my life. What needs to be done? Sickness runs rampant through the camp. Dozens have fallen ill. We do what we can to heal them, but it isn't enough. If we can't find a cure for these people, the siege is finished. Have you any knowledge of healing, or companions that might? Examine our patients. Perhaps you'll discover something I cannot. I'll look at the patients and return shortly. I can ask nothing more. Come back once you've taken a look at the afflicted. <laughs> uh, so hot. Feel like I'm in the Kelim Desert. Try to relax. Vicania here is going to take a look at you. I am to nurse surface dwellers now? Fine. If I must. The man is burning up. 
ordinary methods will do little against a fever this strong. I know of a salve I can make that might reduce the heat. Okay. The heat, I'm burning, I'm burning. Keep strong, soldier. I'll find a cure for this. Ugh. All right. Oh, we have to examine all three. I see. Just let me die. I'm ready. I wish I could, but I'm not allowed to. Help me. Oh, please help me. If you'll stay still long enough for Vicania to examine you, we might be able to do that. Her symptoms are much more advanced. But why? Ah, her position in the center of camp. Proximity to others with the illness must make it worse. Everything's spinning. Usually it takes me a few bottles of wine to get to that stage. Hang on, try and enjoy the ride. I'll be back soon. Ugh. And yes, Demel. Oh, so much pain. Everything hurts. Try to stay still so Vikani can look this at you. This man is in obvious pain, but he's also agitated. He's wasting energy flailing about. We need to get him to calm down. Relax, human. We're going to... Wait! Stop! He's lost control! Well... Beat you I guys don't have to get on this. Sorted. Alright, let's go talk to Dosia. You have my greetings, Fate. I've finished examining all of the patients. What did you learn? The afflicted are running high fevers, becoming violent and becoming sicker when they are in close proximity to one another. Give them herbal salves to reduce their fever, bind them to their cots, and move them further apart. That will help a great deal. I'll make good use of this information immediately. Ilmater, bless you for your aid. Do you have any ideas where to go from here? None. Vikanya? Any thoughts? The bark of the blackthorn tree might be used to brew a cure, if we can find one soon enough for it to make a difference. It's not much of a plan, but I got nothing better. Please hurry, I fear we haven't much time left. Well. You right, sorted. You gutless worm, what gives you the right to tell me what to do with my men? You mean, your 50 men? Why, my 350 men, of course. A tenth of Dagraford's population, Delancey. One in ten. That's what I've brought to this effort. And it is appreciated. But Baldur's Gate, and especially Waterdeep, have provided the majority of troops here. I'll not risk them needlessly. Silence. Your voice is great. I'll listen to them no longer. Who the hells are you now? General Hather Stonehand, Taurus and Cedric Delancey, allow me to present the hero of Baldur's Gate. Oh, I... So what was that business on Boriskir Bridge about? You know how many of our people worship Lathander, Tempus? And you burn the dead lord of bloody murder Baal symbol into the ground where he died. Great, that's sure to boost morale. Hey there, please, show a little decorum. Decorum is for nobles and their toadies. We're here to slay the Shining Lady, not enjoy a fine dinner with her. You are most perceptive. And loath though I am to agree with her, General Stonehand has a point. The reinforcements you've brought are a welcome and much needed asset. Your presence is problematic. Many are uh, disturbed by tales of Boriskia Bridge. It would be best if you were away from the camp for a time. You would send me from here on account of some cowards whining? What kind of commander are you? A highly successful one. <laughs> Everyone has a part to play here. The hero vanquished Saravak. If they can do the same to Kalar, it's to everyone's advantage. If we've any hope of defeating the Crusade, troop morale must be maintained. Your presence works against that. To lead, one must instill fear in one's followers. They must know insubordination will cost them more than any enemy ever could. As it happens, there's a matter that requires attention a ways from here. Word has gotten round that Kalar's forces are receiving supplies via caverns beneath Dragonspear Castle. We have a rough idea where the entrance is, beyond Dead Man's Pass, as the locals like to call it. That's assuming the information we have is accurate. Torture usually gets you answers, but it doesn't always get you the truth. It gets you an enemy broken in spirit and body. That alone makes it wor a worthy pursuit. Well said. An adversary's destruction is its own reward. 
If it yields useful information, so much the better. And there it is, Delancey. Finally, you have some support, and it comes from this half orc brute. Are you happy now? We have reason to believe Kalar Argent's top advisor, a priest named Heffernan, is quartered in Dragonspear's basement. We know very little of Heffernan, other than he apparently has Kalar's ear. We do know that a series of caverns runs beneath the castle. We believe Kalar is channeling supplies through the tunnels rather than attempting to break our perimeter. So there is a way into the castle from below. You want me to use the caverns beneath Dragonspear Castle, our enemy stronghold, to break into the castle. Again, the enemy stronghold, to try and gather intelligence about this Heffernan. That is what needs doing. Will you do it? You had me at go spelunking to find a way to break into our enemy stronghold and learn more about her and her advisors. Huh? What are you saying is yes, General Stonehand. Good, well, be about your business then. Just so we're clear, our resources are limited and our focus must be on containing the castle. If you should get into trouble outside this camp, you'll be on your own. We simply don't have the personnel for a rescue party, no matter how valuable the person captured may be. Before you leave, there's a tent near the camp entrance that belongs to a dwarf named Fossy Dug Deep. <laughs> Go see her. She's been working on something you might find useful as you explore the underground river beneath Dragonspear. That's quite possibly the worst name I've ever heard. I need someone that can make things out of things. There, can you do that? I need a no, you're not that person. Who are these people? Apparently untalk toable. Oh, they're. I don't know. There's Belgarn. That's who I'm looking for, though. And your. I have many fine wares. Special magical items. Let's take a look. Maybe his inventory has changed a little, but I don't think so. It looks pretty well the same. Which is a little bit unfortunate because. An army marches on its stomach. Stuff wasn't all that good to start with. Do you have anything special? You really don't. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, I would never say this, but I could use some help. What's wrong, Savannah? In the last couple of days, I uh, dipped my fingers into a few pockets. One held a bag of junk and this notebook. It contains details of the camp defenses, commander names, and bits of conversation. Sounds like a spy. Only a spy would make these kind of notes. We have a traitor in our midst. Who'd you take the notebook from? That's the problem. While I was working, I wasn't paying attention to faces. It could have come from a few different people. What were the other items in the bag? There was the notebook, of course. A potion, a candle, and this sheet of paper covered in runes of some sort. Runes? It looks like the page was torn out of a book. I can make no sense of the runes. Those look like military code to me. Maybe one of the higher ranking officers in camp knows something about it. All I know is it came from someone's pocket. Tell me about the people you robbed. Robbed is such a loaded term. I prefer to think of it as easing friends' physical burden. As to the question, they were all soldiers. I think. Okay, I'll Don't look around. let me down. Ah, glad you came. This is Fossy Dugdeep. Good to know ya. You told me to find Doug Deep and I have. What do you want? The same as you, I imagine. Victory over the Shining Lady, minimizing our forces' losses as we achieve it. Your arrival and impending departure for the caverns beneath Dragonspear give us some new options in that regard. Fossey, uh, tell them about the barrel of potion of explosion. Well, let's make one thing clear here, Torsen. I don't care about minimizing our forces' losses. It's not a barrel of potion explosion, it was a, po a barrel of potion of explosion. A dozen barrels, actually. The ones you stopped from blowing Boriskir Bridge, Eltimar. Now it's a barrel of boosh, boosh! It's fun and easier to say. It's not to love. The boosh is distilled explosive concentrate. 
planted in the right spot under Dragon Spear, it could give us a major advantage when we move against the castle. How am I to know the right spot? When you're inside the caverns, consult this amulet each time you come to an intersection. It will guide you to the best placement for the barrel. Now, Fossey, would you please excuse us? What? Well, sure, I suppose. I mean, it's my tent and all, but yeah, alright. I'll go over here then. We drop something. The explosives are just one strategy I formulated to undermine our enemy. I've another that you might help with. These flasks contain poison taken from a priestess of Talona we captured and interrogated. Her evil works can now be turned to the greater good. We know Dragon Spear is being supplied via the caverns you'll be visiting shortly, if all goes as planned. If you put a few drops of this in the enemy food supplies and water, we would have an edge when we finally confront the Shining Lady. That would give us a significant advantage, but managing it would entail a significant risk, which means I want a significant reward. Do this, and you'll be more than adequately rewarded, I assure you. You are doing the Sword Coast a great service. May fortune smile upon you in your mission. Farewell. Make me poison people and stuff. The Barrel of Boosh. Doran, you can carry my bust around. All right, so we have the barrel of whoosh. I'm on it. We have everything we need. Am I glad to see you? Oh, I know we've Every had our differences, but I need your help. Ski Silver Shields left the camp. Well, of course she did. Why wouldn't she? The camp's the only safe, secure place in the area. Why would she want that? Gosh. Perimeter guards said she headed in the direction of Dragon Spear Castle. And they just let her go. As far as they know, she's just another fist. She knows of my presence here if that information should fall into the Crusade's hands. Ah, oh, very well. I'll retrieve the witless cow. Try not to attract attention. If word gets out about this, well, I'd rather word not get out about this. Now go. Quickly. This is your fault. Don't give me an order. Spit. Right, what's this? Uh, you rang. We only have five people. You're yeah. Oh, so you lost. say. All right, we're going to quick save here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Take care.